Hey guys, this is a video tutorial explaining how to use my project planner. Whether you are working on a project in your business or if you're working on a project to create something or renovate a home, this project planner will work for you. Um, it is totally customizable and usable for whatever you need. Um, so let's start at the top. We've got date started. So we want to start our project on April 11th. Uh, we want to complete it by the 29th of June. Uh, we've got a budget and amount spent and that will work in um, coordinate with your project budget tab the readme section uh, this is a place for where the youtube video link will go as soon as i'm done with it um, okay so here on the project planner we've got whether or not this project mm -hmm. section is complete the status is not started in progress or complete so say this is a you know business project and we wanted to contact um 40 clients um contact via um website okay and then what person will be completed would be me um you could put their email and then the start date due date estimated cost zero now the estimated cost may be zero if this is like a work project but i put that on there just in case this was going to be a home improvement project and then there's a place for estimated time to complete and then also notes um so then it, once you're done you can check it off and then the next one say we're going to um you know choose a project for around the house so we are going to um, paint the wall and then we are going to paint the wall gray and then um, Thomas is going to do it. And then and so on. All right. Next is the to do list. So we've got high priority, medium priority and low priority to do's. So if we want to um, start from scratch and we're going to um, hire painter and then we want it to be done a third. And so say this is a business one, say we want to, um, you know, call 30 contacts, let's see, 30 leads and we want to get this done by the 23rd. So this is totally customizable for whatever project you've got. We've got a project. Um, budget um, so your S your target budget would be everything added up on this column so it's going to be put in here the total spent is everything in this column and then total remaining uh, would be the difference so if we wanted to start from the scratch so say if we wanted to um, labor Hire a painter, and this is going to be two thousand dollars. We spent fifteen hundred, and there's a difference of five hundred. And you could put notes. All right, vendor research log. This is a place to, if you are not doing, um, maybe you're doing a business project, or this would help if you're doing some sort of a renovation project or construction project. You can uh, use this space to research the people that you are going to hire to make sure that the project gets complete. So if you're doing, you know, a painting project, and then there's their name, email, the category. If you wanted to change this, you could. You just edit it and add another item. And then you've got another item there. And then the place for the website, total cost, amount paid, balance due, and due date. So that's it for the project planner. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. If you found me on YouTube, feel free to click on the link in the description below to purchase this spreadsheet, either on Etsy or my website, SavvyAndThriving.com. And I hope you all have a good one.